Hey guys, we are back with another video and today we are talking about the world's first computer programmer and there are two people who have a claim to that title and the first is Ada Lovelace. Now Ada Lovelace was born in 1815, well over 100 years before the uh, invention of the modern computer. So why is she considered the world's first computer programmer? She worked with uh, Charles Babbage's machine. So Charles Babbage had created a mechanical computing device. And she was asked to translate some notes on it that had been uh, written in Italian, I think. And as she translated, she added her own notes to it. And she came up with an algorithm to calculate what are known as uh, Bernoulli numbers, doesn't matter what that is, but it's a sequence of numbers. And the innovation was that she had a general purpose machine and she changed the instructions to fit the problem rather than changing the machine to fit the problem. So rather than reconfiguring the device to output these numbers, she figured out how you could give it a set of instructions in a particular order that would do that. And um, this is why I don't like filming in places like this, but there's a reason for it. And I'm going to have to freestyle now till those guys get out of the way. How did she do it? Uh, so she used um, punched card technology. Now, I don't know much about punched card technology when you're talking about a mechanical device. But when you're talking about an electrical device, if you bring an electrical connector, if you move an electrical connector and there is a card, it will block that electrical connector so it, the connection cannot be made. However, if there's a hole in the card, if it's, if it's a punched card, then the electrical connection will be made and something will happen. And it's going to be similar with uh, the mechanical device. And she got her inspiration from looms. And the reason we are here is because this was a center for the linen industry. And our timing is going to be all wrong here. Now that was going to be so good, but uh, we will make do. We might even have a cut here. Anyway, if you want to know more about the loom technology, you could come here and it is open in lockdown the framework knitters museum will teach you all about loom technology and i have to admit i've never been in because i've always got to here and there's a very nice beer garden through there so this is as far as i've got Now the looms were programmed to produce different patterns on material using a punched card type technology and that's where Ada Lovelace got her inspiration but she never got to see if her ideas actually worked because Charles Babbage's machine was never finished at least not in her lifetime. Now the second candidate for the title of world's first computer programmer is Grace Hooper. Now in the 1940s and 50s Grace Hooper worked on military computers or computers with military applications for calculating missile trajectories and that sort of thing. And at the time what they would do is they would create physical connections among a number of different logic gates and enter in signals to those logic gates. The signals would work their way through whatever connections they had set up and then the output, output would appear at the other end and that's how they programmed the machine by physically connecting up these logic gates. That was their way of programming it essentially but what they were really doing was changing the instruction set of the computer and Grace Hooper realised 
that if they set up a general purpose set of connections, so if they give the computer one instruction set, they could change what the computer does by changing the order of the instructions that the computer was given, rather than having to reconfigure the device every single time. And that was the way that they programmed this machine. And very quickly after that, she realized that they were using the same batches, the same order of these instructions, which again were on punched cards, over and over and over again. So what they did was they got together a bunch of cards that did a particular operation, I don't know, let's say factorize. So they got a bunch of cards to factor that would factorize any number, and they put those together somehow. Would there have been elastic bands back then? I don't know. But anyway, however you collect together a bunch of cards, they collected together these bunch of cards and wrote on the front, factorize. And they did that with all the uh, operations that would come up repeatedly. Then to write a program, they would, on a, on a blackboard, instead of writing out all the instructions they would have to do, they would just write factorize. And then when they got to that bit in the program, they would get the factorize batch of cards and feed it into the machine. And that's how programming languages work today. So you don't program in instructions, you program in these high-level commands, and then the operating system converts those high-level commands into the instructions that get executed. And Grace Hooper essentially and her team were, were doing the job of an operating system, the, the job that an operating system would do today. Grace Hooper went on to write a program that would automatically do this, and she created what's known as the world's first compiler. So a compiler is a piece of software that takes a programming language source code and turns it into, uh, into instructions. And there we have it. So that's Ada Lovelace and Grace Hooper. One of them can be considered the world's first computer programmer. Sorry about the noise. There's a lot of work going on over there. If you like these videos, subscribe down here somewhere and I will see you on the next one.